Well, hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide. We are on April 22nd, 2020. Welcome to another surviving day on this planet. Happy Earth Day to everyone. Please take a moment today and ground yourself to our planet and give thanks that we're all still here on it. Another surviving day on this planet. Looking here, 304 angstroms at our sun. So we had a little frenzy of filament activity all around the sun. And as well, an active sunspot region incoming. Coronal hole diminishing. Still not much to talk about for space weather. Very quiet sun, to say the least. Have a quick look here at the incoming active sunspot region. Looking here at our heliosphere. Again, I want to thank everyone for watching today. Tuning in to the Daily Dew. Let's have a look at our real-time solar wind. As we did see an increase up to about 460 kilometers per second. Maybe even 500, but we're steady now at 447. Let's have a look at earthquakes the last 24 hours as it's been busy across the plate, North American plate. So we had earthquakes in Idaho as well, California. 3.7 Park Windsor Hills. Reports of shaking there as well, 3.5 Arizona. 2.7 Petrolia, California. Some minor rumbles, Alaskan Peninsula, 3.9 moving west, and then south of Kamchatka, the Curie Islands, 5.3. Moving southward to the Philippines, 4.7 there, as well a deep 4.3 East Timor, 430 kilometer depth, 5.0 here, Vanuatu, and as well two deep earthquakes, Fiji. 404, 598, crazy depths. South America here, a few fours running off, but as well, those are deep as well. Watch for volcanic movement over the next couple days. If you want to check out the latest for volcanoes around the world, look into the volcanic activity report I released two days ago. So that's earthquakes for the last 24 hours, even seeing Hawaii with a couple minor rumbles, two and three. Let's have a look at the last seven days around the world. You can see many deep earthquakes all around the Ring of Fire, northwestern, southeastern, and as well southwestern. But northeastern is still very quiet. Watching a couple deep earthquakes today, especially that Phoenix, Arizona, 3.7 earthquake, or 3.1 in Arizona, It's a semi-deep earthquake compared to what they're usually getting. Pacific Disaster Center here looking at the most recent updates for volcanoes. Popo in Mexico. As well, Sangay in Ecuador. Reventador in Ecuador. Dokono in Indonesia. Sabankaya in Peru. And as well, Kluchevskoy in Russia. Asosan in Japan. So that's about nine volcanoes all being updated in the past six hours. And as well, we're looking at tornado warnings. Shreveport, Louisiana, San Antonio, Texas, Houston, Texas. As the extreme weather is starting to unfold across the United States. Just having a quick look here. Atlantic Ocean. Strong high pressure ridge in place there. And as well, the Pacific Ocean. Northern Hemisphere acting very funny right now. Should be a very interesting transition into spring. Heavy rain and thunderstorm conditions across eastern Pakistan. Right down into Thailand. And as well as some extreme weather. South India and as well Sri Lanka. And 
the, the only other extreme weather that's happening here in the United States. We've got heavy rains, thunderstorms, South America and Brazil. But that very intense weather as a few tornadoes touched down in Oklahoma yesterday, or sorry, late last night. And now we're watching the extreme weather moving south, or sorry, moving eastward. Stay aware, prepared, and stay safe, my American friends. Let's get to the five day forecast brought to you by Media Worth, Media Mike. Watching the scenario continue with the extreme weather across southeastern United States. Five day forecast starting here, Calgary, Alberta. As we have a temperature swing happening, very cool at night and warm during the day. Large Pacific low moving into the north coast of British Columbia is going to be bringing in a lot of warm, warm moisture from the Pacific. So spring could be around the corner, but it's quite a battle right now with the northern front polar vortex. You can see those cold temperatures lingering around northern Ontario still. Watch later in the week as that storm develops and then this one for sure across southeastern United States, Carolina states. Stay aware and prepared. This is going to be a very intense and windy storm. Watch how that just quickly gets ushered into the Atlantic Ocean to join forces with another low just south of Greenland. Greenland is just getting hammered right now for snow. Overlooking Europe, large low pressure system, Western Russia, keeping temperatures really cool across Eastern Europe and Central. Mediterranean low diminished. But here's that large winter storm that is affecting Western Russia, parts of Finland. Colder temperatures are really lingering around up north right now. As well, looking here, extreme weather moving into Pakistan later in the week. And lots of moisture flowing off of the Tibetan Plateau down into South China and Thailand. Hopefully some relief for my buddy Steve. Overlooking the Pacific Ocean, strong high pressure ridge hanging about. Overlooking South America, daily evaporation rains, heavier amounts west coast towards Panama. And as well, east side, as this moisture, line of moisture just continues to funnel in to Venezuela. Africa, very hot over the next few days. Temperatures reaching 40s late. And as well, watching for heavier rain amounts through the Congo region later in the week. As those temperatures rise, watch for extreme weather to break out for sure. Thoughts and prayers to everybody affected by extreme weather events. We have a very busy planet right now. Overlooking Australia, cooler temperatures southeast, warm north, and then watching moisture move in. Five, five day forecast. Still very dry across Australia. I'll leave you here looking at the northern hemisphere versus the southern hemisphere. Watch for the, the null school wind map as well. You can see the polar vortex still hanging around. Again, thanks for watching. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun and get your morning due. Thanks for watching today. Bye-bye.
If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world. Thank you.